Hello, it's Steve White, Trick Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, it's a sad, sad day for science fiction TV. Um, we hear from the cinema spot that the Orville is cancelled. Uh, season 3 will be the last season, so uh, as far as we know. Um, and uh, although there's been given no evidence of this or explanation for this, but it is said that Season 3 was meant to be the final, that they were never planning to do a fourth season. Um, basically, the series started off on 20th Century Fox, uh, they did two seasons, and then it went to Hulu, and everyone thought this would be a good thing, because we thought, well, on Hulu, they don't have to worry about ratings, because the ratings were a little shaky with the series, which a lot of science fiction series are like this. Science fiction does not, especially good science fiction, does not appeal to everyone, doesn't appeal to the masses, the general audience, who aren't very sophisticated. Um, and the Orville, for all its comedy and Star Trek parody elements, it did, it was a good science fiction show. It did have some quality writing and, and quality to it. Um, <sighs> but it, it, alas, it's been cancelled now. Of course, just to rub it in, um, the Star Trek Discovery has possibly, well, they're saying that has been that it's been um, cancelled as well. Season three will be the last that they reshot the ending, the last episode, to make it a series final instead of a season final. Um, but they are still talking as though it's going to happen. Although um, talk is that the sets have already been destroyed. Um, we won't know until the end of season three if they announce the season four whether or not because we heard first year that it was going to go, second year it was going to go, blah, blah, blah. so that's the counter to this which is really depressing. How can the Orville be cancelled when something like Discovery limps on? Um, so, I mean, there's very little detail. Um, apparently doing um, the Orville had something to do with a um, deal that was already in place with Disney, um, so they, it's like they had to do it, I think, when they, because I think Seth is involved with them for more than just the Orville, so I think an extra season of the Orville just came with the contract, basically, is the way it sounds to me, from what I've heard um, here and there, so it's, it's really sad. The saddest thing is they might be doing the stupid thing that they do where they cancel a show which isn't doing as well as they want because they, and they haven't even put it on Hulu yet, they don't know how it's going to actually do. They could have at least let it premiere and see how it did before they decided on the next season for God's sakes and who knows maybe if it does really well they might um, do a fourth season. It's not um, unheard of. There have been shows that were cancelled and were picked up by other networks or were cancelled and then did really well. Um, so they brought them back. So it's it may not be dead. Um, Matt Jarvo or whatever did a video um, asking would it go to Peacock. I didn't watch it because I haven't watched any of his videos since he supported Robert Meyer, Meyer Burnett when he said to shoot protesters <laughs> during um, the protests after um, George Floyd's death, so I haven't watched that video, so I don't know if he has any actual ins inside information or he's just speculating, because there's a few places it could go. And one of the weird sad things about the whole thing is that um, Seth MacFarlane loved the original Star Trek and Next Gen as well, and he, um, he wanted this show to be a, um, not just a, not a parody, but um, a love letter to Star Trek and Star Trek fans. And the original series got cancelled after three years. Um, so the fact is, show if it only goes for three years, only went for three years. It's it's in parallel to the original Star Trek. Um, I don't know if that gives him any solace or if that if that's just it's just a strange thing, I guess. But um, yeah, I just don't know what to think. I can't, I can't believe that they would. But yeah, I mean contracts. If they if they had to make a third season, they don't have to make a fourth season. They're not interested in the series. I guess that's why it's going to go. But the annoying thing, what they are doing, um, which is what I was mentioning before, was they are Hulu is going to be making The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is also a sci-fi comedy. So this may be as stupid and basic as, oh, well, we've got one show, we don't need two. Well, we're doing this new show, let's cancel the other one. We don't need to make a, another season of The Orville because we've got Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, well, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy could be awful. It could 
could be dead in two episodes and no one watches it and it gets cancelled in one season and then you've sacrificed one show for another show that's not going to last. Now, we've seen this happen a million times before where something, like I said, isn't doing as well as they want. So then they think, well, this shiny new show, in theory, because we think we can just make people watch whatever we want because marketing are just a bunch of narcissists who and, and capitalists who just think they can make the public do whatever they want. Well, they'll watch this new show and um, they cancel the old one and bring in the new show, which they think is going to you know, be huge, and then it fails and you end up with nothing. Um, it happened... Uh, so, oh, no, I'm going to go into the history of cancelled shows and stupid decisions uh, made around them. But, um, yeah, this is where we're at. <sighs> I don't know what to think, because I really enjoyed the first season of The Orville. I missed most of it on TV, and I bought it on DVD, and I watched it pretty much as a marathon, and it was great. It wasn't as com comedic as I thought it was going to be. It was more serious. It was, it was a real attempt at a, at a, at a quality fun, light science fiction show, Next Gen basically was, was its um, style on, in a way. And sometimes that wore a bit thin because you just kind of felt like it was sort of copying or re being repetitious. But then there are other moments where it really shone and really um, went in, did its own thing and just reminded you of why you love science fiction and why you got excited. I mean, it was, it was, and watching on TV as well, because I did watch the second season um, on TV, having to like run to the, the, to the TV every time the ads went off to like to see, you know, the, the, the establishing shot of, of, of the Orville um, or an effects shot or just following it, having to wait for the next week to see the conclusion to um, a story or something. I mean, it was great and it was sort of, um, it was just fun because I haven't done that for years. So I didn't mind the fact that I, had to wait to get it on DVD. I eventually, you know, got season two as well. But season three, um, haven't heard much about it. There was some issues with producing it because they were changing from um, 20th Century Fox to Netflix. But the initial talk was this was going to be good because they didn't have to deal with ratings and they'd be able to just make the show um, for as long as they want, basically, like um, a... Um, a commitment to the audience or a commitment to the arts or a commitment to science fiction or something. It's like, well, a lot of these shows get made like that. I mean, that's how some discovery is being made. It's not based on ratings or success or profit. It's because they need content for um, their streaming service and that's what they've chosen. That's what they're, that's what they're doing. Um, they just hide the ratings and keep on making it and telling people it's doing well when it's really not. Um, the Orville should have had that same freedom to fail um, commercially or, or um, you know, financially, but, you know, succeed artistically and be rewarded for that and keep going. But, um, no, it's getting canned. Um, and the only good thing about it is it won't outlive its usefulness. It won't, live out, it won't outstay its welcome. It will end on a high note. It will end being wanted. It will be missed. It will be... It will grow in its... Um, in its um, cancellation, like the original Star Trek did. It will get more popular, it will be revered, it will be a martyr, it will become a martyr, basically, um, after this. So, I look forward to the third season, and we will, have, I will, of course, be um, savouring every episode, because it's the last science fiction we have, last... I mean, we've got The Expanse, but those shows are all dark and nihilistic and negative, but they're supposed to be. That's how they created Star Trek. wasn't supposed to be. That's why Discovery was such um, a disaster and such a disappointment, and it's not Star Trek for all, a whole lot of different reasons. Um, the lack of the op op optimistic future, the um, partisan politics, the, the preaching... Um, instead of a humanistic approach, which shows both sides of every argument so people can actually think for themselves and choose um, and for it to be thought-provoking rather than judging. That's what we've got to deal with now. We don't get the Orville. The Orville was fun. The Orville was intelligent, but not taking itself too seriously, which I kind of resented because I was happy to take Star Trek seriously. I took Star Trek seriously, and the Orville didn't take itself totally seriously, which made it easier in a way to sort of respect because, you know, there was no pretense. But um, 
I think I would like to think as the series went on, if it did go on, that they would have got a little bit more serious in some regards, um, and taken themselves a bit more seriously in some some regards. But that's it. It apparently is done now. There's a small chance, like I said, someone else will pick it up. That's only if it does really well on Hulu. So all those people of Hulu, watch it hard. Um, yeah. It's a sad day. <laughs> and I didn't see this coming. I thought maybe after the third season, you know, we'd see is there a fourth season or not. It would depend on how, how, did on how well it did on Hulu. But we didn't even get that opportunity. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um... Yeah, comments are fun, um, but this is not a fun subject, but just, yeah. Hmm, R.I.P. The Orville.